Hey guys, I'm Carmen and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I publish tutorials once a week and if you haven't already, smash that like button, drop a comment below and subscribe to my channel to join in all the fun. In this video, I'll be showing you how to crochet this fake tote bag. If you prefer written instructions, you can buy a pattern in my store. Find the link to my store in the description box below. I used Yarn Drops Paris, uh, that's Yarn Group C in almond color, but you can use any other yarn with similar characteristics, that's Aran or Worsted Weight Yarn. You will also need a 5mm crochet hook, yarning needle, stitch markers, measuring tape and scissors. When flat, the back measures 45cm width and 48cm uh, with handles in height. If you're familiar with basic crochet stitches, you're okay, but even if not, you can learn with my tutorial. You'll be working with two strands of yarn at once, chain two doesn't count as a stitch, crocheted from the base up, working in joint rounds on the base and body, and working in spiral uh, rounds on the upper edge and handles with slip stitch back loop only, you will use a stitch marker to mark the first stitch. To start, you will chain 27 with uh, working with two strands of yarn. And then you will make a double crochet in the third chain from the loop and across. And I will, you place a stitch marker here in the first stitch and then I will meet you at the last stitch. So here we are in the last uh, stitch, you place a stitch marker in that stitch and by that you will mark the area where you will be making increases and now you will place five more double crochets into that same chain. So that's two, three, Four, five, and six. That's it. Then place a stitch marker in that uh, sixth double crochet. And then you will double crochet across until you reach the last stitch and I will meet you there. Here I reached the last uh, stitch, I made a double crochet in the last uh, stitch and now I will make five more. That's two, three, and four. 
So I have one, two, three, four, and five on the other side, and I need one more. So total, you will have six double crochets in that last stitch. That's it. One, two, three, four, five, and six is the one where blue stitch marker is. So now uh, place a stitch marker in the first stitch of the increasing and then you will slip stitch in the first stitch of the round to join so slip stitch okay and then you will chain two so here are the increases that are marked I recommend you use stitch markers because it's much easier so then you chain two and you will work front post double crochet in the first stitch that's it place a stitch marker in that first stitch and then you We'll work another front post double crochet in the same stitch. That's it. And now you will place a stitch marker in that second stitch because that's the end of the increasing. And now to continue, you will place one front double crochet stitch in each stitch across until you reach the yellow stitch marker. So I just reached the yellow stitch marker, remove the stitch marker and work two front post double crochets in that stitch. So that's one and two. Place a stitch marker in the first stitch of that increase and work two front post double crochet stitches until you reach the yellow stitch marker. So when you reach the stitch marker, work two front post double crochet stitches in that stitch. And that's one and uh, two. Place a stitch marker in the second stitch of the increase. And then work front post double crochets across until you reach the next yellow stitch marker.
I reach the next yellow stitch marker. I will remove the stitch marker and work to front both double crochet stitches in each stitch across until I reach the blue stitch marker. So that's the first stitch of the round. For round three, you will uh, chain two. You will place a front post double crochet stitch in the next stitch, the first stitch. And then place another front post double crochet stitch in that stitch. Mark the first stitch with the blue stitch marker. And then work one uh, front post double crochet stitch in the next stitch. Place a stitch marker in that stitch. And then you will work one front post double crochet stitch in each stitch across until you reach the yellow stitch marker. the yellow stitch marker work two front post double crochet stitches in that stitch that's one and uh, two and place the stitch marker in the first stitch of the increase and then you will work one front post double crochet stitch in the next stitch and then you will repeat the uh, increases two one two one and i will meet you on the other side where the other uh, yellow stitch marker is of course
work one front pose double crochet stitch in the last stitch that's the stitch where uh, yellow stitch marker is and then you will work one front pose double crochet stitch in each stitch across until you reach the yellow stitch marker So when you reach the yellow stitch marker, remove the stitch marker and work two front pose double crochet stitches in that stitch. One. And two. And place a stitch marker in the first stitch of that increase and then work one front, front post double crochet stitch and then two front post double crochet stitches in the next stitch until you reach the blue stitch marker that's the first stitch of the round slip stitch in the first stitch of the round and here you have three rounds completed for round four you will chain two and in the first stitch you will make a front pose double crochet stitch and then another front post double crochet stitch in the same stitch and place a stitch marker in the first stitch then you will work front post double crochet stitch in next two stitches So work one front post double crochet stitch in this stitch too, the last one. Place back the stitch marker and then you will work front post double crochet stitches, one stitch in each stitch across until you reach the yellow stitch marker. When you reach the yellow stitch marker, work two front post double crochet stitches in that stitch and then one front uh, post double crochet stitch in the next stitch and one front post double crochet stitch in the next so you will have increase and then one front post double crochet stitch and one front post double crochet stitch you will continue until you reach the yellow stitch marker on the other side and then you will work again one front post double crochet stitches until you reach the next yellow stitch marker and then you will repeat a pattern increase and two single stitches and increase and two single front post double crochet stitches at 
the end of round four slip stitch in the first stitch of the round to join and chain two you will place two front post double crochet stitches in the first stitch and then three uh, double crochet uh, front post double crochet stitches in each stitch across so on the the other side when you reach the yellow stitch markers that mark the increase area you will work one increase and three separate front post double crochet stitches and one increase and three separate front post double crochet stitches end of round five slip stitch into the first stitch of the round to join and chain two you will work two front post double crochet uh, stitches in the first stitch and that's one and uh, two And then one front post double crochet stitch in the next four stitches so on the increase area you will work one increase and uh, one front post double crochet stitch in the next four stitches I didn't record for the seventh round but here you have uh, written instructions on how to finish the seventh round it's similar than uh, all the rounds now uh, so on the increase areas you will make increases and uh, for round seven you will make an increase and then uh, one front post double crochet stitch in next five stitches so i will meet you for the round eight where we're gonna start the body part of the bag So for round eight you will chain two and you will work double crochet stitches in the back loop only across and when you come around you will slip stitch into that first stitch and I will meet you there.
So here's the end of round eight. We are gonna leave one stitch unworked here and we're just gonna slip stitch in the first stitch of the round to join. And for round nine, you will chain two and you will wor work five front post double crochet stitches. in the next five stitch, stitches so that's one and two and uh, three and five Then you will work two back post double crochet stitches. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Now work two back post double crochet stitches. One. And then you will make a double crochet in the next stitch. You will chain two and you will make another double crochet stitch in the same stitch. And then you will work two back post double crochet stitches in next two stitches. That's one and two and you will repeat the pattern across to the end and finishing with only one back post double crochet. Now I'll meet you there. So at the end of round nine, we work one back post double crochet stitch. That's it. And then we make a slip stitch in the second chain of chain two to join the round. And then we're gonna chain two. And we'll make front post double crochet in five, next five stitches. That's one. Two. 
two. four and five and then you will back pose double crochet in next two stitches and then you will work seven uh, double crochet stitches in that chain two space So we have seven double crochets. Now you will work work uh, back pose double crochet in next two stitches. And you will repeat that pattern to the end and you will finish with only one back pose double crochet. And I will meet you there. At the, end, at the end of round 10, you will make um, one back pose double crochet stitch and you will slip stitch in the second chain of the chain two. And uh, for round 11, you will chain two. And then you will make front pose double crochet two together. That's it. And in the next stitch, you will make front pose double crochet. 
and then you will make again front pose double crochet two together so make a front pose double crochet two together and then you will work uh, back pose double crochet in the next two stitches and then you will make a uh, front pose double crochet in next seven stitches that's one two three four five six and another one and seven and then you will work back pose double crochet in next two stitches and you will repeat the pattern across and again finishing with only one back pose double crochet and i will meet you there So at the end of round one you will work back pose double crochet stitch in the last stitch and for round 12 so you will slip stitch in the second chain of the chain two and for round 12 you will again chain two and you will work front pose double crochet three together
Okay, so that's double crochet three together and then you will work back post double crochet in the next two stitches. One and two and then you will work front post double crochet in the next seven stitches. One, two, three, four, five. Six, and another one, seven, and then you will work back post double crochet in the next two stitches and you will repeat the pattern across, again finishing with only one back post double crochet and I will meet you there. So at the end of round two, uh, uh, 12, work uh, one back post double crochet and then slip stitch in the chain, in the second chain of the chain two to join. And for round 13, you will chain two. And you'll make a front post double crochet stitch and then you will back post double crochet in next two stitches one and uh, two and then you will work uh, front post double crochet in next seven stitches. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, and seven. And now you will work uh, back post double crochet in next two stitches. And you will repeat to the end, finishing with only one back post double crochet.
At the end of round 13, you will work back post double crochet in the last stitch and you will slip stitch in the second chain of the chain 2 to join the round. So then slip stitch and for round 14 you will chain 2 you will make a double crochet in the next stitch and then chain 2 so 1 Two, and make a double crochet in the same stitch and then you will work back post double crochet in next two stitches and that's one back post double crochet One and uh, two. And then you will you will front post double crochet two together. And then you will uh, front post double crochet in the next three stitches. So that's uh, Front post double crochet two together in the first two stitches. Okay, that's it. And front post double crochet in the next three stitches. One and two and three. And then front post double crochet two together in the next two stitches. Okay, that's it. And then back post double crochet in the next two stitches. And you will repeat to the end, finishing with only one back post double crochet. With the round 30 we'll start with the upper edge and the handles 
so you will slip stitch in second chain of the chain two at the end of round 29 and you will chain one and chain one counts as a stitch so you will skip the first stitch and you will make a back loop only slip stitch in the second stitch and across and i will meet you for round 31. For round 31, you will slip stitch in next two stitches, place a stitch marker in that first stitch, so make another slip stitch and then you will skip one stitch and you will slip stitch in next two stitches and skip one stitch and slip stitch in next two stitches you will repeat across until the end of round and uh, for 132 and 34 you will slip stitch across and i will meet you for 135 where we will make the sentence So for round uh, 35 you will slip stitch in next two stitches and then you will chain 60 and then you will skip 26 stitches and you, you will make um, 26 slip stitches and then you will chain 60 again and you will skip 26 and you will slip stitch in 20, next 24 stitches.
for rounds 36 to 39 you will slip stitch across and you will finish off with an invisible finish off and I will meet you there That's it for today. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up, share and subscribe. Bye!